In today's video, we will learn how to solve linear programs using Groby on Google's free collab Python Jupyter Notebooks. So first step is to go to collab.research.google.com and log in to Google with your Gmail account and open up a new Python notebook. So file, new notebook, and choose Python 3. All right. So first step is we need to install the Groby Python library. So we can do so with this command right here. So it's fetching the um, Python Groby library and installing it on our virtual machine that Google um, lets us use. Okay, so with that done, we need to import the Groby library into our session of Python. Okay, and what we're going to do is ultimately solve linear programs like this, and we're going to adjust the type of variable that we have, whether it's binary, um, continuous, or integer. All right, so we have our objective. We want to maximize this, and then we have two constraints, and variable conditions. First step is we need to create a new Groby model which will store our linear programs. So that's that line right there. Okay, next we're going to create our variables and let's start the problem with continuous If it is continuous, you don't have to say anything. You can just um, leave this field blank. But just to put it in, to show you, I'll put it in. Okay, so we have a um, objective. So I, I did change it a little bit. So it was x plus y plus 2z. So let's see. x plus y plus 2z. x plus 2y plus 3z is less than or equal to 4. And x plus y greater than or equal to 1. OK. All right, so let's, um, let's take a look. So we created our variables. Then we set the objective. And then we had our constraints. OK, we uh, attempt to solve the linear program. And this gives us the objective value. And then for each variable, we're going to print out the decision value of the optimal solution. OK, let's give it a try. Okay, so the objective is 2.33, and our, our values are 0, 1, and 0. So something looks a little odd here, because if our, if our answer is Oh, I think this might be the issue here. 
Okay. Sorry about that. So I was worried because we had integer decision variables before, but a, a non-integer solution. I thought there must be something wrong. And my mistake here was I, I didn't print out the value of z. All right, so now everything is correct. We have our, our three variables and our three variables right here, x, y, z. We solve the linear program and the optimal solution is 2.33 and we get 0, 1, and 2 thirds as the answer. Okay, now suppose we want the variables to be integer. So we simply have to change the word continuous to integer. It looks like it's a, a minor you know, something very minor change, but it actually uses a completely different algorithm to solve integer programs. They're much harder to solve. All right, so changing the variables to integer, let's see what we get. Okay, 0, 2, and 0, and the objective is 2. Notice we're doing a maximization problem. By default, Gorobi assumes a minimization. Okay, and finally, suppose we wanted to use binary variables rather than integer, so binary or 0, 1. So the easiest way is just change these to binary. Okay, let's run it. 0, 1, 0. All right, so then the best you could do is 1. No surprise there. And 0, 1, 0. All right, so we saw how to solve integer, binary, and linear programs. Now, sometimes you have a lot of variables, hundreds of thousands or millions even. But before we get to something like that, let us just um, look and see how to handle the idea of having a lot of variables with a slightly bigger program, but still not huge. OK, so we want to have four variables in our um, linear program. So to handle four variables, rather than saying like x, y, z, w, what we could do is set up a Python list called capital I with uh, four numbers, one, two, three, four. And what we're going to do is create four variables in one shot using the add vars method instead of the add var. So there's that little s there that works and gives us multiple variables in one shot. All right, let's make a variable z. This time z will represent the objective. And to tie the objective with a, its linear expression, we're going to say z is equal to this. This is the, going to be the objective, as you can see by looking at lines 7 and 8 at the same time. All right, uh, we have four constraints to add. Notice how we reference our variables using the bracket operator for Python. And notice also that we have to do things like two times x1 rather than mathematically we would say something like 2x sub 1 as in a linear program. I've written out 
in math, math notation. Okay, so we have our um, we have our four uh, constraints. So let's let's go ahead and um, solve them. So we optimize, and then what we're going to do is convert the answers to the decision variables into a Python dictionary and one in one equation in, in one statement and this will allow us to access the solution so let's give this a try all right so it it ran this um, solve this integer program so there's um, five rows and five columns that's the five variables and five constraints counting the objective as a constraint here and it solved this pretty quickly under a second of course and um, here is the solution. So the objective value is 6.831 times 10 to the third, or 6,831. And the values for x1, x2, x3, x4 are given by this um, by this dictionary right here. Alright, so that's how you use the free version of Groby within Google Colab to solve small linear and integer programs. Uh, you should note though that if you want to solve um, big integer programs we need the commercial version of Groby, which is uh, ridiculously expensive. Or, if you're an academic researcher, you can obtain it for free uh, for academic purposes.